Elizabeth, one of the reasons the governor's in the hot seat right now is because the legislature itself refused to make the cuts and they passed the hot potato on to Governor Quinn. They absolutely did. You know, this is an election year and uh, just as they did last year, they said, uh, you know, we're not going to make these cuts. We're going to, they gave the, the governor a budget that was obviously unbalanced and said, you know, you make the cuts. Now he did get emergency budget act powers, which gave him um, broad, uh, really unprecedented powers to move money around within the state and to do some borrowing and to try to fill some of this gap. But you know, it's still, it, the budget is still obviously tremendously out of whack. Now, John Bowman from the Responsible Budget Coalition says, agrees that the governor really has been caught between a rock and a hard place. I think the governor's budget announcement today reminds us that these are the kinds of no-win decisions you have to make when you're not given an adequate amount of money to pay for the state's priorities and to keep the state's promises and to pay the state's bills. And that's the big story. We have not had a responsible reaction from the General Assembly to produce the money needed to fund the state budget, the important priorities that the state has.